The question comes up from time to time whether NaCl is a neutral compound. So the short answer is if we have NaCl, sodium chloride here, there's no negative or positive sign written after the compound. So NaCl, it's neutral because we don't have that negative or positive. But if we look at the type of elements we have here on the periodic table, we have sodium, that's a metal, and then over here, chlorine, that's a nonmetal. So we have a metal and a nonmetal. When we have a metal and a nonmetal, that's usually an ionic compound. So this is going to be made up of ions, and ions, they have a charge. They aren't neutral. So let's look up the charge on Na and Cl using the periodic table here. So you can see the pattern here for ionic charge. Group 1, they're all 1 plus. Group 2, 2 plus. Skip the transition metals, and we go across here. For sodium, that's right here in group 1. So sodium will have a 1 plus ionic charge. And chlorine, that's over here. That's in group 17, sometimes called 7A. That'll have a 1 minus ionic charge. So even though we have a positive and a negative, if we add that up, we have a net charge of 0. So NaCl, the compound, that's going to be neutral because it has a net charge of 0. Let's take a quick look of why we have this positive and negative here. So elements in group 1, like sodium, they have one valence electron. Elements in group 17, sometimes called 7A, they have seven valence electrons. To achieve an octet, the sodium, it'll transfer or lose an electron to the chlorine. So now the sodium, it lost an electron. It becomes positive. The chlorine got that extra negative charge. It's negative. And because we have a positive and a negative, they're attracted to each other. That's what forms the ionic bond. We should put brackets around this chlorine here, though. And that'll show that this electron here was transferred. It's not shared between atoms like a covalent bond. This is ionic, so it's been transferred. So again, we have these ions that come together in ionic bond, but the positive and negative, they add up to zero, give us a net charge of zero. So sodium chloride is a neutral compound. One last thing, when we have NaCl, it doesn't really exist as just one Na and one Cl. It's actually going to be in a crystal. It's a regularly repeating pattern of sodium and chlorine atoms. And because of that, we call this a formula unit. But this whole crystal will be neutral as well because it's made up of the same number of positive and negative charges. This is Dr. B answering the question whether NaCl is a neutral compound. It is a neutral compound. Thanks for watching.